This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar illustrating lighting techniques in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll illustrate how to light a 3D object using a variety of lights. I've created a background, which I'll show you in a minute. I've added an airplane. This is from the library 3D objects airplane. And we'll work with the 3D transform tool to first get it to rotate. Let's have it be climbing. And we'll grab, hold the shift key down and scale that to make it bigger. Pick that up a little bit more toward me. Hold the shift key down, make it bigger yet. Now I'll lock it. So let's add a light. I'm going to ultimately use four lights here. So we'll do this one at a time. New light. First thing, we're going to switch to 3D. I'm going to switch the plane to 3D. Pull the light into here. Oh, it's locked, which is why I can't switch it to 3D. Switch to 3D. Switch the set to 3D. OK, good. Again, it's a point light. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to the inspector and we'll change it to a directional light. And we're going to make it dark blue because we, we can. Huh. Ain't that great, actually. And that's because the plane has lighting built into it. Almost all the 3D objects have lighting built in. So I'm going to select the plane, go to Inspector 3D Object, and see it says Reveal Environment Lighting. Click this button and scroll to the bottom and grab 3D Object Environment and drag it all the way off. This turns off all the inherent lighting on the plane, and we're left with just the light that we're working with. So let's go lock this again and go back to the light. I want to create a directional light, and I want the light to point down. Notice I don't have to move the light. Now it's shining up. Now it's from the right side. Now it's down. Now it's from the left side. You don't have to move a directional light to change the direction. You just have to change the angle. And we'll set it about like that. Most but not totally sort of top right of the plane. And now we'll call this blue top. Shift command L. By default, it's a point light. I'm going to drag it into the light folder. I'm going to call it yellow under. And we'll change the color of this to a nice brown tone. And click OK. This is a directional light. Again, we don't have to change the position. We just have to move stuff. And I want it to come from behind and underneath. Right about there. Just enough to give us no, just enough to give us some. I don't want to pick up too much of the wing. I just want to give definition to the bottom of the plane. And Right about there. Cool. That sort of defines the bottom limit without getting carried away. It's like an, on a backlight. Let's add another one. Shift Command L. This one is a spotlight. And we're going to light the tail of the plane. Where the heck is the light? I get so lost. Go up to this menu and go to the top view, and you'll realize the spotlight is sitting right on the plane, which makes it really, really difficult to move. So we're going to shift gears over here, put the spotlight more like this, and rotate the spotlight. And see as it picks up everything toward the tail of the plane. And then we'll click on Active Camera, which is Control-A. With that light selected, we'll pull it into the Lights folder. With the light selected, we'll adjust the soft edge. And again, tweak the rotation. And punch the intensity. 
And we could play more with this, but you get the idea. Nor if there was a logo back here, I'd put a spotlight on the logo. Close enough. I want to avoid lighting the wingtip. There we go. Now we have the tail of the plane. Let's add one more light. Tail, light. And let's add Shift Command L. And we'll add one more spotlight. Go to the active camera view because otherwise I will get lost. I don't want that light there. I want the light here. It's going to be red. And close this. And tighten the cone angle. Go to properties. Y rotation. There we go. And now we'll go back to our Look at that. Nice soft nose. Weird line there, but you know, otherwise I'd be here for the rest of the day tweaking that. Let's add, uh, let's add a background. Background is red. I want to get the red off the background, so we'll tighten the cone angle. And tweak the rotation and tighten the cone angle and tweak the rotation maybe rotate it <laughs> tighten that a little bit too much let's open the soft edge there we go you get the idea and if we play it we've got a moving background behind the plane oh this is a huge plane and the tail should not be in focus. This is such a big plane. I want to select the plane, unlock the folder, go to filters, go to blur, add a gradient blur, and this, scale it back, this indicates where we're in focus, right on the pilot window, and where we're out of focus toward the tail, and pull the amount down just a bit. There we go. And now, because I learned how to do this yesterday. We'll bring it up full screen. To turn off all these 3D marks, go up to View, say 3D Overlays, turn those off, and F8. Look at that. Is that not cool? Four lights, blue to sort of give us the overall fill, spotlight on the tail, a red spotlight which blends with the blue to give us the pink, and then a yellow underneath to separate it from the background, and a gradient blur to, Im to imply the size of this plane. That is so cool. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar illustrating lighting techniques in Apple Motion. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 306. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.